Talking to a constitutional uh, lawyer, a researcher, guy that wrote the big U.S. Uh, U.N. Uh, Biological Weapons Treaty, Dr. Francis Boyle. He's going to be on the nightly news with me uh, this evening. Paul Watson's doing the news portion. I'm doing the interview portion. And that's all at PrisonPlanet.tv. Lennon LaRouge, who needs no introduction, is our guest for one more segment so we can get to some of your phone calls. Um, and we appreciate him joining us. Sir, finishing up, starting over. The grand chessboard, why the U.S. is admitting it's preparing for a war uh, right now uh, in Asia. They're now talking about open war with Pakistan, who's got 100 nukes. I mean, this is a world war. Uh, Syria, proxy armies taking over Libya. Uh, it's all barreling forward. Why do the global financial interests centered in Wall Street, London, Frankfurt, and other areas, why are they wanting this? Why are they doing this? Their principle is that they're not concerned about the amount of money in question or the amount of wealth per capita. They're concerned that they control it, whatever it is, because they know if they control it, they can control the future. They don't care about the number of people who die or do not or live. They care about their faction being immortal that their faction must reign as dominant over the planet forever. In the tradition of the Roman Empire, the Byzantine Empire, the Crusader system, the new Venetian party, which is what this thing is. So therefore, they're concerned about, they really think in historical terms, but very bad historical terms. These empires always think in the terms of they're controlling the future destiny of mankind. And they don't care how many people they lose of their own pro forces, how many they themselves kill of their own forces. What they care about is the future. That is, they, they are principled, as most of our politicians are not principled. Most of our politicians are thinking about the amount of money they get for their pleasure. The British Empire is more moral by being immoral. It's morally immoral well they're such incredibly vicious control freaks they want to win that's why they're into yes. eugenics they want to create an artificial habitat control all human activity and be god basically exactly and, and, that's the the, the the idea of god in terms of pagan belief goes back to the you know things like the uh, siege of troy where the question was no matter how many people you kill well, because you get to be the top dog, you can kill the opposition, the re remaining opposition, which is what they did. They killed everybody except a few harmless people in Troy once they beat, the, beat that racket. And that's the way the British think. That's their morality. They have a morality. The problem with our people, our corrupt people, is they have no morality. They have only personal greed, personal gratification. They don't give a damn about the future. That's they right. The globalists the at the top, they've convinced us that everybody's thinking on a six-month and, you know, the, the, you know, the ruling elite are only thinking about uh, themselves and it's everybody for themselves. But really, they've got all these minions to sell out for money they printed out of nothing for the globalists, for the top controllers, they're not even about money. They're about total control, long-term strategic chessboard, and the end game is global holocaust, global eugenics, and then they reemerge with their whole moonraker scenario. Uh, incredible. So briefly, how do they plan on tr starting these wars? You're saying Syria and others and Iran. Well, it's, it's the kickoff going into Pakistan and then China? No, it's, it works differently. The plan basically is the British intend to destroy the United States by absorbing it, killing off most of the Americans, and a few, th few things like that, you know. But the tendency is for them to re do the impossible. At the time that the British system is entirely bankrupt, Rothschild is totally bankrupt. Huh? They're bankrupt. They want to save their s the system for the future. Therefore, they are religious, but they're on the devil's side. We're on the other side, except we don't have any supporters. We have many people who claim to be religious, but they don't act religious. They act on the basis of personal greed and satisfaction and their sexual lusts and things like that. So that, and I'm, here I am, you know, with people like me. There are a few of us around. <laughs> and I think in terms of immortality, too. But I'm not on the Satan side. They are. Well, that's right. Anybody who's truly awake and conscious and fulfilled is understanding that we all come and go. It is the species that matters, and it is the building up of humanity that is the great work. 
And for the global controllers, they want to take it all over, wreck everything, so nobody is independent, separate from their system. And they don't even offer mankind a place in their system with them running it. They don't like populations. They don't like people. They want us dead. It's like the James Bond movie when he says to Goldfinger, do you expect me to talk? And he goes, no, I expect you to die. They're not giving us quarter. And, and, and as crazy as all this looks, they're, they're really moving us forward. Uh, are things, and we're going to calls, are things going well, well for them, Lyndon LaRouche? No, they're not. The point is, if we have a few more people with a bit of guts, and we've got it, it, Russia and China are, are, and other countries like Korea, like Japan and so forth in, in Asia, but other countries as well, and large movements in peop, people in Europe, who are on the opposite side or on the, uh, against that side. But so there is, there is the potential, the potential resources, physical resources as well, to turn the situation around, to get rid of Obama, retire him into some zoo someplace where he'll be safe for the rest of his life, huh? but, uh, but, and deal, get rid of this, this problem. We can do that. It, it's a good we can do in this time. The capability of doing it is there if the willingness is there. We can win. We can save this, not to grab power, but to save civilization. There are parts of civilization would like to grow and improve things. And we just remove this problem, and we could remove it. The removal of, of Obama from office while he's still president, before he starts a war, would be sufficient to open the gates for the salvation, at least in one sense, of civilization. All right, uh, let's go to... Uh... Dan in Florida, you're on the air with Lennon LaRouche, then Teeny, then others. Go ahead, uh, Dan. Yeah, how you doing, Alex? Good, uh, good. Uh, actually, kind of got like a side question real quick. I wonder what's going on with Jason Burmis. Whatever happened to him? Uh, Jason uh, does the nightly news quite often. He always attends. He's done this twice. He came here and made one film, went back home, he, where his family and mother and, and, and sister and others are, and then he went back. So uh, I think he was just on about a month ago on the nightly news with us. Oh, okay, cool. But, yeah, my question was basically about the Rothschild family. Um, my sister had married into their family probably about 10 years ago. And, you know, I'm noticing, you know, when I first saw the situation, I didn't really think too much of it. just thought he was a regular guy. But lately I've been noticing some, th some things that are really, really strange lately. And, um, you know, I can see my family kind of having some issues here and then. I'm not going to talk about them all over the air. But, well, it's, um, it's it's, it's very, there's a very simple answer. They're complicated explanations which really don't mean much. But you have to think from the top down. What happened is there was a, a process of successive imperial systems in Europe. And one came after the Byzantine Empire. And out of this came the, what became the Venetian party, the first Venetian party. The first Venetian party was then defeated later on in the course of the change in religious alignments and so forth. And we started with the modern time, the modern Venetian party called the Second Venetian Party, the New Venetian Party. And this was, this was a key factor which led to all the wars and so forth that came out of the 17th and 18th century. So in this process, the family of Rothschild, which was part of the families of the Venetian oligarchy and were tied to what was called the Second or the new Venetian oligarchy, of, uh, you know, of the, of the, which became the British Kingdom. This second, this group, became the central feature of a group of Venetian bankers, international Venetian bankers, in which the name of Rothschild became leading during the course of the uh, Napoleonic Wars. Since that time, the second Venetian party, typified by the leadership of the Rothschild family, as a family, as a financial family, became a dominant feature in the operations of the British Empire. So it's not that the Rothschilds contained some magical genius of evil, it's simply they, be, they joined a club of evil. And it is evil. Absolutely. So, Let's go to Teeny and then Michael. Teeny in Indiana, quick question for Lynn LaRouche. Uh, yes, if Congress won't um, impeach Obama, why can't the American people impeach Obama? Yeah, that's a good idea. How? I mean, there's got to be other ways. Uh, you know, all it takes is a number of politicians with the guts to push through this reform. That is, the, the Section 4 of the 25th, 35th Amendment. That will get him suspended from power huh? if the cooperation is there. The sp suspension of him from power 
would block World War III. Which is just insane. They are moving towards giant multi-region wars, and nuclear weapons are already being threatened to be used. The Israel and the U.S. are saying we may use tactical nukes up front against Iran. It's not Israel. It's a certain group in Israel which are controlled by the same process. No, I know. And then it's sold as patriotic for people that live in Israel to, you know, to be for this madness. Uh, and you got a bunch of idiots that don't even understand military matters who are supporting it. Thank you, Tini. One quick final call for our guest. Michael in Texas, go ahead. Quick uh, comment or question for our guest. Was that Michael in Texas? Yeah, that's you, yeah, buddy. That's you, buddy. Okay, um, terribly sorry to bother you. I appreciate you accepting the call. Quick call. Would y'all consider becoming uh, content advisors for the corporation, corporation Wake Up America? WakeUpAmerica.com forward slash constitutional believers. Uh, if you take, the, take a look at that, uh, we are trying to return this country back to the constitutional values, and we need, uh, need to wake up America. And I appreciate everything that you're doing to wake up America as well, and uh, I appreciate everything that uh, your, all of your organization and your guests do for Waking Up America as well, can they as well become content advisors for Wake Up America organization? Well, I mean, everybody's looking for a magic bullet. Basically, we have a treasonous, hijacked government. We need to stop the movement towards World War III. We need to reverse all this. I mean, Iran tried to get their uranium enriched in Europe, where it couldn't be used for bombs. The West didn't want to do that. Uh, let me ask, and I appreciate your call, sir. Let me ask Lyndon LaRouge this question. I know that they threw out Mohammed Mosaddegh, and then the West was involved at some level actually betraying the Shah, not saying he was a good guy. I know they're heavily involved with British intelligence and certain elements of the Wahhabist. I'm not saying, you know, all of that Muslim sect, the majority are bad. I'm not, I'm just saying that, that obviously we know Al Qaeda, you know, is a uh, Western foil. All of that's going on. And, and we know that this system is expanding uh, on the subject uh, of Iran. We know that with Iran-Contra, there were the behind-the-scenes deals with, with the mullahs and the CIA. I mean, sometimes I wonder if there aren't elements of the Iranian establishment aren't still working with the West uh, in some type of elaborate saber-rattling uh, to try to... Uh, basically manipulate the price of oil and things. Lennon LaRouge, uh, we're almost out of time. I appreciate all the time you've spent with us, but please give us your take on that. Well, the point is, you go back to the issue of this. It was Dulles, Dulles who worked for the British, who sank Mossadegh. And that was what started this whole problem. No, it was the British wanted all the oil for free, and Kermit Roosevelt and MI6, CIA MI6 team staged terror attacks, on Muslims and blamed it on Mossadegh, and they used the Muslim extremists to overthrow Mossadegh, then double-crossed them and put the Shah in, then double-crossed him and put the Ayatollahs in, and tell our, our public that the Ayatollahs got in on their own. So I'm saying, is that relationship still there? I'm sorry. Oh, the relationship is British. At, or any parts of the whole region, and now you have fluctuations where people who've been taken down by the British so often as their allies, who they rev revolt against the British, but it has always been the British Empire, which was the only significant force in the planet after the fall of the Soviet Union, was the United States, possibly versus the British. And everything hangs on that. We are the axis of the issue. If we can do our job, and I believe the American people, if they're mobilized properly, will respond. We can change the direction of history on this planet in a short period of time. But we need some leadership out there who are not like what we have as, as so-called selected leadership. They will not do the job. But I know that there are people in the Congress who are behaving badly or negligently or with cowardice. I know they're not bad people. And I know if we can get a little movement going on this thing, those people can be mustered together. And with that force, we can change the direction of this whole process. But we have to do it quickly. Well, you've got a lot of your ideas and information at LaRouche. Pack.com. There's also uh, LaRouchePub.com.